Nina Rota's clarinet sonata in D. You heard the third movement performed by Jerome Summers on the lead instrument and Robert Courtgart, the pianist. And we've been enjoying Italian music so far this afternoon. Let's go there now. You're with the New Classical FM. My name is Mark Wigmore, arts and culture on the Oasis. <laughs> Soprano Nafar Yacobi in performance. The Italian-Israeli performer is in lockdown in Italy right now, facing nearly four weeks of COVID-19 precautions. Due to the ongoing situation, she has created the non-profit Musical Solidarity Project, COVID-19, a global act of solidarity and hope through music. The idea is to perform a virtual version of what you're hearing. Verdi's Va Pensiero from Nabucco, a powerful symbol of hope, performed by people all over the world. Singers, instrumentalists, world-class soloists, orchestra players, music students, and even passionate amateurs. Each artist will make a self-video recording on their smartphone, singing or playing their part with the Musical Solidarity Project playback, and then they send it in. Once they have hundreds of videos, they will edit and mix them all together into a great musical video collage. The idea is to bond musicians and give us an example of unity and hope by breaking all the geographical, institutional, and status boundaries by creating a unique and diverse group of people that believes in generosity and solidarity. All the way from Italy, Nafar Kobe joins me here on the new Classical FM. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hello. You know, we only get a sense of what the situation has been for you and for that country from watching the news on television at night. It is one of the hardest hit regions in the world. Give us a sense of day-to-day life for you right now and and for the people around you. Day-to-day life looks quite the same during the last four weeks already. It's uh, mainly staying home and when you need something which is mainly groceries or very essential things like that, uh, you go out. Are you really shut in or, or are you able to move around a little bit? I know you're singing on your balcony and so on. Oh, yeah. So uh, every day at 6 uh, p.m. I sing on the balcony. It's sort of um, a tradition that started uh, very spontaneously in the on the first day of the lockdown, some people uh, decided on social media to make some music on the balcony at 6 p.m. And from that day on, it's just continued and it's uh, it's really beautiful. Uh, it's a very joyful moment in days that are quite empty of the activities that we usually do. So you can go out. Uh, you're not totally locked in your house, but uh, you can go out only for necessary things, which means grocery uh, mainly, or medicine if you need, and you can just go around your house. So you can't really travel a lot, even inside your neighborhood. Uh, That's the situation here, and uh, we got used to it. After four weeks already, we just understand that we need to be patient. We need to follow the instructions that we get uh, in order to and make the situation better. And we we actually see that the numbers are getting better. So uh, I am very happy about it, and I hope that it continues in this uh, direction. We're a couple of weeks behind you, so it is encouraging to hear that uh, you're rounding a corner and uh, there is light ahead. We gave the, the basic details of the project that you've put together off the top here, but it's the Musical Solidarity Project, What was the moment that inspired you to go forward with this? What was the launch point? It was a mix of uh, the beginning of the lockdown, which felt very strange in uh, in the first day, because I realized that it's really happening. They talked about it, but until it didn't happen, it was not really concrete. And once you realize that from now it's going to be very restricted, all your routine is going to be totally different. Uh, That's a moment that made me think, okay, 
what can we do? Uh, and in addition, this sort of tradition, I call it, the, of singing from the balcony, making music or dancing even, it made me think, okay, it's really possible to do something together still, even if, if we are separated from each other. So, for example, when I sing on the balcony, I see all the neighbors uh, are going out. They are participating. We, we have an intimate moment, although we are each person at their own house. So the mix of these two things made me feel that we have the possibility to do something together, and it's even more important now to do something together because of this situation. Many media platforms use the term social distancing, which I find really disturbing because uh, it's actually physical distancing. Yes, that's true. But social distancing is actually the opposite of what we hope that is happening because we don't want to be socially distant from each other. It's the opposite. We are really much closer. We, we show solidarity if it's on the balcony or if it's in uh, wider things that we organize now. But uh, the idea is that we support each other. We are not distant. We are even closer because we have the same situation that we want to overcome. It is interesting because I do feel that uh, I am even personally a little closer with family and friends right now because we have been in mm-hmm. touch a little yeah. more in this moment. Yeah, it's really special. I I, I, I didn't even know this, these neighbors until, until now. And now, <laughs> really, it's amazing because they come, of course, we can't really meet each other closely, but they come down from their building, which is quite far from me, and they bring, uh, one day they brought uh, limoncello and other Italian homemade liquors, and another day they brought a cake, they left it uh, downstairs, and I and then I go and pick it up, <laughs> and the last gift was amazing, it was a homemade pizza, so... I mean, this is uh, this just shows you how beautiful things happen, even though the situation is so difficult. It's amazing how we have to be with our inside our house. We we find out new things, like you said, with your family, or like things that maybe I didn't think to do that now I'm doing. It's uh, it's an opportunity. It is an opportunity, and uh, you've definitely taken advantage here with this project. It's a it's a grand project and very ambitious. Tell us about the piece you've chosen from Verdi's Nabucco. Yes, so uh, the piece Va Pensiero, uh, which means uh, go, thought, is a piece uh, in the original story of the opera. It's the Hebrew slave, uh, that's how the chorus is called also. And uh, the main idea is that they uh, are not free. They want to overcome a situation and they want freedom It's sort of what we want now. We are in a very difficult situation. We want to overcome it together. It's a piece that symbolizes hope, solidarity, and it's also specifically for uh, Italians, for the Italian culture. It's uh, like the second national anthem. Sure. So it's very special also from that point of view because all this, the project was born in Italy and the really difficult crisis was also born in Italy, uh, of course, after China, but uh, in our region, this is this was a really difficult place. Um, and I think that uh, the piece is just uh, very symbolic for this situation. So remind us, uh, Nofar, if I'm a musician listening right now, or if I know a musician uh, yeah. who, who I think should take part, how does it work? How do we get involved? As a performer, it's uh, quite simple. We have... Um, a playback, which you need to play or sing with or conduct even. We also have conductors in our project. Uh, you just uh, go with this piano playback that we did uh, especially for the project. That's for sync purposes. And then you just send the recording to us. It's, you need to just do a simple video on your uh, smartphone and send it to us. What a wonderful idea, and people are going to do that all over the world. You have a map on your website showing where people are yes. taking part. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got uh, yeah. great response so far, the Israeli Opera, the Royal Conservatory, the Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra. Uh, many more individuals and ensembles will be taking part. So uh, we are very happy to announce that uh, we have also amazing conductors joining us, uh, Frédéric Chazla, uh, which I also had the pleasure to sing with and work with. 
and uh, Dan Ettinger, uh, which is also joining us uh, with a lot of enthusiasm. Today we just got the New Zealand Opera also supporting our project, so we are very, very excited about this going really really global. Uh, more than 20 countries involved already, more than 10 languages on our website. So it's quite accessible to everyone. <laughs> and so here's the website, and this will go up online in the next 24 hours on classicalfm.ca as well, and our social media. It's nofaryacobi.com, and that's N-O-F-A-R Y-A-C-O-B-I dot com and you can have a look at the virtual Verdi Choir section right there on the website. And uh, Nafar, thank you for being here today. We really appreciate it all the way from Italy. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. It really has been a pleasure. Do you have a sense of, of what's happening for Italy next in the next few weeks? Uh, for Italy, it looks like the next two weeks, uh, at least the next week uh, until uh, Easter, it's going to be locked down, especially to avoid on Easter any closer uh, meetings. That's it right. Doesn't happen yet. We just follow the news. I must say, I personally think that uh, it will continue at least until the end of April this lockdown. But I don't know. Of course, um, I, I hope that we will find a, a way to live with this and not only be locked down. Well, uh, happy Passover, happy Easter, happy... Uh, Thank ho- you. Hopefully things will be uh, opening up again in the next few weeks for your part of the world. Thank I think you very much. we're in for a little longer. But once again, nofariacobi.com and uh, look for the virtual Verity Choir link right on the front page. You're with the Oasis here on the new Classical FM. That's our look at the arts. <laughs>